Good morning campers. Uh, today we're going to do a walk around of my 12 foot uh, Glendale trailer. Um, this video is going to be threefold. We're going to do a quick walk around. Um, then I'm going to do a more specific walk around for the people who really want to know about this trailer particularly. And then, um, then I'll let you know what I, uh, my plans for it, which, uh, shockingly uh, involves Canadian winters. Um, so, 12 foot, uh, it's a late 60s model, uh, I can tell because we have the round uh, marker light, uh, which was late 60s. Um, the precise model uh, is a Voyageur. If you ever have a trailer with that name, I would very much like to know about it because it seems to me it was only a Quebec model, Canadian Quebec province model. Um, basically being a, a French word, also an English word, but they can play on the, the word being French and English, which is very smart. Um, it also has five marker lights in the front and the back, which I've never seen that on any of those trailers. So I don't know if that was specific to Quebec as well. Um, in the late uh, 80s, someone re, re, mm, repurposed this trailer as a, um, a little hunting lodge. Um, that's why there's a propane heater chimney. I don't know, stovepipe. Um, we have uh, the bunk bed windows, the regular windows that are broken here. Back windows, nice and wide, doesn't open though. It's a, um, and here you go. The marker lights on top, five. And the round tail lights on the bottom. Noticeably, there is no bumper on this model so it's like nice and round all the way to the top sorry for the sun um and yeah that's the exterior let's go see inside opening uh window i don't think any of these windows had a screen if you guys have a trailer glendale in the 60s and they have screen i would like to know how they uh, are built um so we have the inside with a french kitchenette uh two to a uh, element stove. Uh, normally you would have a fridge underneath, but like I said, the, someone in the 80s modified it to have a propane heater there. Um, white countertop with little sparkles. Um, the classic sink. Too bad it's not a colored sink. It would be nice to have a porcelain sink in here. Um, I'm not sure if this is original. Uh, it could be. It's If it's not original, it was well made, but I don't understand why you would have a little wood trim here. If you guys uh, have one like that, it'd be nice to know. Classic Glendale uh, latches. This would have been the original color of the paneling. Um, you can tell it's kind of more faded beige or yellowish, as this would be a nice creamy uh, beige. Um, and then on the other side, we have the uh table kitchen it, no it's not the kitchen it's the table living area um during the remodel in the 80s they cut this table in half so you can sit to and have a bigger space area um i still have the other portion to do a full bed if you want to sleep the full bed uh, these are the original cushion i don't know why these fold in half probably for kids um and you can see it's kind of a light faded out green, but that would have matched, I guess, the stove somehow um, with, of course, the classic flower pattern on the other side. Um, and the usual layout in, in this type of layout, you have the little bunk on top. Um, I'm not gonna open it right now because once it's open, I, with one hand, I can't really do anything. Um, we have a custom, I'd say, custom stereo that was put in, and I don't know what time, but that's like AM, FM. Funnily, this is sideways when it should be upside down, but when it should be, it's horizontal when it should be vertical, as you can tell. All the 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 inscriptions are the wrong way, um, and then we have the washroom area um surprisingly it's fairly big in there even though it's uh kind of gross 
lots of spider webs. I cleaned it up a bit quickly, but um, you have the clothing hanger. Um, when whoever remodeled it in the 80s for a little hunting shack just put a toilet seat and a bucket underneath, um, that's definitely going to have to go. Um, but the funny part is these little uh, cupboard areas. So you have a bunch of shelves here. The electrical stuff is there too. A bunch of shelves here that goes to the floor. And in the back, you have, I don't know what, this medicine cabinet or something you would call it. Right now it's absolutely gross and disgusting as it's all rotted in the back, but actually that's worse than I thought. And these trailers all have some funny little spot that you never heard of. Hmm. Well, I close back up here like this. And I'm fully standing here right now with, uh, I'm 6'1", and my head is barely touching the ceiling, so. It could probably be enough space for a shower there eventually if I want to. We'll have to see about that. Skylight. This has to be, it's gonna have to get fixed as well. Um, and voila, let's do a, a beauty shot, an ensemble. Flooring uh, was tile. There's a beige kind of like little six inch by six inch square tiles. Um, and here, I'm going out, so let's uh, let's take this bunk bed down just to show you. It goes in that little latch here. Same on the other side. Okay, with one hand, this is getting hard. Boom goes down. This is not too bad. I mean, it's obviously for kids, but you get a good two and a half feet here, so. I mean, if this was a bit stronger, maybe an adult could sleep up there. And there's a little guard side thing that's supposed to go here. Hmm. Again, with one hand, it's a little harder. Goes on the side there and inside here. And boom, get a little. Uh, handrail all right so now let's do a more specific to this trailer uh, walk around um, the story behind this to this particular trailer is that I bought it from a farmer that had it for the last about 20 years and he told me that the person who had it before him got it organized as a hunting trailer um, and um, looking by ev everything that's been modified on it, it's all old and about the same age. So I'm guessing the one guy did the whole modification and then the farmer got it and didn't do nothing with it. Um, it was mostly in his barn. That's why it's still alive because Quebec, Canada, we get five feet of snow. These things turn to pancakes in no time. That's why there's not many of those left alive around here. Um, so the story, this is what I can piece out a little bit is that this trailer probably was in a wreck um, and sent to the wrecking yard. And then someone was like, hey, I can make a nice uh, hunting trailer out of this. Uh, it's, it's a common thing in Canada. We re repurpose these uh, repurpose. Um, this is a classic thing to do in Canada. Repurpose these old trailer into a, a ice fishing hut or if you're a hunter to bring them up north um, and uh, use them as a campsite. Um, up north they usually put a little roof over it or else the snow is just gonna crush it. Um, so uh, what did that uh, guy do? Well the first thing is um, the frame was damaged badly and uh, kind of like Redneck fixed it. Put a big plate bolts on both sides and then welded it as well. Um, I guess that's really strong, but it looks like shit. Um, the other thing is he put this piece of metal here, uh, frame, like a subframe that goes all the way to the front. Um, oh man, that is so overkill. It's like, I think it's a four by four uh, steel 
piece of steel frame um way overkill super low as well um and the actual original frame is the same on the other side it's been broken and fixed up um that piece of subframe that's added sorry for the shaking it's right here you can see how big it is and huge this is completely unnecessary probably just had that piece laying around and he's like i'm not gonna buy anything just reuse that it's welded underneath here to the to the hand but it's also welded to my foot uh, my my lift uh trailer lift so i guess i can't change it or i'm gonna have to cut the welding um so that's why i say it's probably been wrecked and then someone has been total and taken out of the junkyard and refurbished um that's also the same guy who who did the little chimney here um and did the whole propane heater area um over here out of metal there's a double layer there's also a double like, he worked really hard on this so i mean for the time it was probably great right now it's kind of junkish i'm gonna take it all out um he's probably the person also that cut the table in half because if you're going hunting it's just going to be two people probably maybe by himself i would guess by himself um but you know you keep the other piece if you want to do your bed thingy he also did which is kind of nice he doubled up all the window with plexiglass every single one of them so you can go up north in quebec or canada when it's cold so that's kind of nice he put screens in places there was no screen because there's a lot of mosquitoes in Canada. And he's also the person, I would guess, did this little uh, Jimmy up toilet disgusting area. But, you know, if you're just hunting by yourself, who cares, right? Um, so that's, I guess, the most specific stuff. That probably would also explain why um, everything is dinged up everywhere. He probably installed an exterior that that's definitely not original so to have power outside um patched up here these normally are fridge vents so i'm guessing there was an original fridge in the back here instead of the heater um he actually capped those off so you don't get cold air going inside the of the trailer um, but by doing so it did a poor job and everything's rotted now um and i guess going out in the trail in the bush you get all dinged up and scratched up and and uh yeah quite a quite a lot of dings and scratched and bumps all over um a lot of dents on the neat backing up into stuff i'm really happy the tail lights are not broken um because those round tail lights are really hard to find um these are working most of them i have three of them missing in the front which is very annoying um over here was probably a sticker i'm not sure if this would have been the original color of the trailer or the the color of the sticker which is hard to tell really but that could have been like the whole stripe being a a, a bright yellow if you have a similar trailer in those years it would be nice to to know and then yeah these three lights i have no idea where i'm gonna get these round marker lights if you got some of those i'm a buyer i need three uh i need three yellow and i need two reds because somehow they painted some yellow ones to be red to have a red side marker the only reason someone would do that is to pass inspection, I believe, because no one would care. Like, I don't care if they're orange or yellow, uh, or they're red or yellow, unless you pass an inspection and they say you have to have them red, which that's why I'm thinking it's, it's a trailer that got wrecked and then pass the inspection to be back on the road kind of thing. Um, I think that's about it for the specific. Um... I can tell you what my plans are for this trailer 
and it's a little outrageous so if you're the per kind of person that really likes to keep these cute little trailer vintage with like accessories and everything eh, you might not like it or maybe you just want to see what i'm gonna do in that case i would strongly suggest to uh, like and subscribe uh, because i'm not gonna put videos very often and uh, youtube's not gonna recommend them to you if you don't like so that's kind of a way to know and i'm not gonna pester you with spam and, and all kinds of emails either so um my plans for this thing is well i'm gonna use it up north a bit like a fishing or hunting lodge but i also go up north in the winter time um and the fact that it's got pla uh, plexiglass windows is a really nice thing but the first thing i'm gonna do is winter time in 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 quebec where i go off road there's probably gonna be a good two feet of snow so let's go on the let's go on the side where we can see stuff um and well as you can tell that is gonna be a snow plow it's like i don't know a good three inch off the ground maybe four so i don't know if you can see it good makes a u there um i don't know if i'm gonna use this in the forest something's gonna rub something's gonna touch the floor um so my plan is to somehow stuff some big tires on there lift the suspension i'm gonna pull it with my good old faithful uh, jeep xj here and you can tell that jeep has got at least 18 and 18 inch off the ground for the frame so just imagine if that follows in two feet of snow it's just gonna be plowing the whole way and damaging the trailer as well so hopefully i don't know i was hoping to put 31 inch tires the same size as the trailer underneath there and lift it about 18 inch but we'll have to see about that so that's the plan we're also going to have a wood stove i want to put a wood stove right here um right in this area here we're going to put a wood stove uh, we're going to put a fridge back in and, uh, yep, it's going to be a winter trailer. We're going to go winter camping with this thing. Um, we're going to fix up the toilet area too, because that's, that's gross. Um, so if I do a winter camping thing, a stove here, I'll probably put a hole here and oh, I don't know, maybe reuse this little cutie pipe here, but, uh, coming out of here instead. Uh, in the middle um, so I can have a fridge in the front and I don't have to cut the, the, the countertop because this, a wood stove is a lot hotter than the little propane stove he probably had in there um, so that's the plan think about it one second what could possibly go wrong with a plan really what could possibly go wrong <laughs> I guess we'll see we'll see in the next episode thanks a lot